Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my Red Dead series. Now, the Naturalist DLC is likely to be the most expensive DLC that we have ever had in Red Dead Online. I'm going to be going over everything that we know so far and how much you guys should actually have saved for this DLC, as there's going to be a lot of parts to it. We've got at least one new weapon confirmed, there's a new Outlaw Pass season, there's a new role to purchase, according to insiders there's also the trapper that's going to include a whole host of new outfits and crafting items we can purchase. According to Rockstar themselves there's going to be even new properties to purchase this year, there is a lot to cover today. Now if you've had a look at my cache in the gameplay you'll probably see I'm completely over prepared for this update, I have almost a thousand gold and over a hundred thousand dollars, I don't recommend you guys need anywhere near as much as I do, I just need a lot of money because I like to show off in videos uh, content when it's released and show you guys if it's worth buying or not so I need more than the average player. I did also watch Hazard's video the other day and he has almost 2000 gold which is insane. But in this video I will be letting you know exactly how much cash and gold I think you guys need to have for this DLC. Real quick before we get started though, leave a comment guys and let me know how much cash and gold you currently have saved. I'm interested to know how much everybody has. Alright so let's first of all go over the new weapon that will be coming with this DLC. It's featured here in this image. Now at first glance this actually does look very very similar to the double action shotgun that we have already in Red Dead Online, however there is a slight change to it. This one's actually missing the hammer. I want to give credit here to A Life of Misery, he actually pointed out that this is actually most likely a double rifle. Now a double rifle is uh, also uses two barrels that are mounted next to each other, but this is actually not a shotgun and it's more used for hunting big game. And this actually makes a lot more sense in this image when you start to realise that this is a double rifle and not a double barreled shotgun, because why would you be hunting a moose with a shotgun? So with the Naturalist DLC being a very wildlife focused update, it does make sense for them to introduce a new hunting weapon which would be the double rifle and that would be used for big game animals such as the moose or even the legendary moose if that's what's pictured in this image. Now if you're wondering how much the double rifle might cost, if you take a look at all the rifles and shotguns in the game, they basically vary between $72 for the varmint rifle all the way up to $540 for the semi-auto shotgun. That's the most expensive rifle or shotgun that we currently have in Red Dead Online. I do believe this new weapon will be most likely on the higher end of this scale, if not more expensive, even $600 and $700. I really don't think would be out of the question for this new weapon. If we look at role specific items that have been added in previous updates, such as with the collector role, we got the Pennington Field Shovel. That shovel costs $350 and a roll token to purchase, so I really don't think it would be out of the question for a new weapon to have some sort of roll rank requirement and also a very high price tag of $600-$700. Another weapon we haven't seen in online yet is the M1899. Um, semi-automatic pistol. These are very very powerful pistols that were added to the single player with the PC update of Red Dead Redemption 2 and it was later added to PlayStation 4 and Xbox but only in the story mode and that cost $350. I don't know if this weapon would necessarily fit in with a naturalist or wildlife themed update. I think Rockstar are much more likely to save this one for perhaps an outlaw or lawman themed role in the future. Another item confirmed by Rockstar is the advanced camera. You're going to be able to purchase this from the catalogue and it's going to give you improved features such as more mobility when you're capturing photographs, some new filters and more. I have a feeling this will work very similar to the refined binoculars we have. Those had a requirement of being a rank 5 collector and a price tag of $450 for those refined binoculars. So if I had to estimate, I'd recommend the advanced camera would probably require at least level 5 or 10 in the naturalist role, and then it's going to cost at least $450. Before we continue with the video, I would like to thank the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring and supporting this video. They reached out and decided it was about time I upgraded my messy wallet designed in the 90s with their super sleek and lightweight design. There is over 30 colours available, I decided to go with the burnt titanium design. These wallets hold up to 12 cards plus cash. They're made with RFID blocking technology to protect you from digital pickpocketers and they'll even give you a full refund if you don't love it within 45 days. 
And you don't need to just take my word for it, they have over 30,000 5 star reviews. You can get 10% off your order by going to ridge.com forward slash silent and using code silent. Next up let's talk about Outlaw Pass Season 3. Now with each previous Outlaw Pass they have gotten more and more expensive. The first Outlaw Pass cost 35 gold bars to unlock and the second Outlaw Pass cost 40 gold to unlock. If Rockstar are following in this pattern, Outlaw Pass Season 3 should cost around 45 gold bars to start. Now the previous two Outlaw Passes have been very very rewarding, in fact you actually make back that upfront gold investment through the rewards and just ranking it up by playing the game. So even if Outlaw Pass Season 3 did cost you 45 gold bars to unlock, if you actually play the game and progress through the Outlaw Pass, you're going to be most likely making back that 45 gold and also more items. One of the best parts about the Outlaw Pass is the fact you do get a large XP multiplier on your roll XP, so that meant with previous rolls we've been able to rank up around 25% faster just from buying that Outlaw Pass. Also don't forget if you completed Outlaw Pass number 2, you should have in your benefits section two mystery tokens that have been sitting there waiting for quite a long time now. These mystery tokens will change into rewards that you can unlock when Outlaw Pass Season 3 is released. From Outlaw Pass number 1, these two mystery vouchers changed into Clearborn Coat and the Churchwell Vest, so it'll be interesting to see what we get this time. Moving on to how much the Naturalist roll will actually cost to start. Now all of the previous tier 1 rolls we've had in Red Dead Online have all had an upfront cost of 15 gold bars. And then the Moonshiners DLC that was an extension of the Trader roll and that one had a higher upfront cost of 25 gold bars. I discussed this in my video yesterday but I do believe the Naturalist roll will actually be a tier 2 roll extending from the Collector roll. So I'd recommend if you guys have not already started the Collector roll, make sure you start it, get rank 5 at least, because that was the requirement to start the Moonshiners roll. You don't want to be missing those requirements when this next DLC is released. So I think that we should expect to pay at least 25 gold bars to start the Naturalist roll. Next up is the addition of the Trapper. Now Rockstar have described this update as being massive. I really don't think one roll added to the game would be described as massive, but if the Trapper and legendary animals and the whole host of items and cosmetics and crafting that came with the trapper was added, that would make a massive update. If we take a look at some of the outfits we could purchase from the trapper in the story mode, you'll see we have the bear hunter outfit and this one cost in total around $117 to purchase all of the parts. Of course you also had to bring him the, the materials with the legendary bear pelt. You also needed some perfect bison, perfect bull hides, some extra materials to craft some of the other clothing items. Then we had the death roll outfit, this one required legendary alligator skins, perfect snake skins, and in total if you were to buy all the parts this one would cost $167. Now these outfits are likely to be much more expensive in the online mode than they were in story mode, reason being is we've seen weapons that were in the story mode have their prices increased by two times, three times, even four times the price they were in story mode, they get increased in online. I also wouldn't be surprised if quite a few of these outfits and items, especially the nicer ones, were also locked behind gold bars, so you can't actually use cash to purchase them, you need gold bars only to buy them. Alright, so the last thing to discuss in this video are properties. Now this has not been confirmed by Rockstar yet that we'll be getting properties with this update, However, Rockstar did mention in an interview with Polygon back in February of 2020, so just basically four or five months ago, they said they were planning to add multiple properties to the game. So even if it didn't come as part of the Naturalist DLC, it's likely since they mentioned it, it will be coming with a future DLC this year. In this interview, they said property owners have more to look forward to. They also mentioned they have plans to add a communal space that you can also own part of. They said some of the roles would let us introduce more featured rich businesses and even communal spaces that players can gather and meet up socially, lone wolves and full posses, maybe even let each player own part of such a space. It's actually really hard for me to estimate how much these properties might cost since we don't really have anything to reference it from. The only thing we've had any anything close to an ownable property is our moonshine shack and that cost 25 gold bars, but of course that is also combined with starting the moonshine roll. 
So it's quite difficult to estimate what a property might cost, but I would assume something in the region of a few thousand dollars. So just to wrap up this video, let's go over how much you guys should have saved for this update. So first of all, we have the Outlaw Pass at around 45 gold bar bars. We then have the upfront cost of starting the Naturalist roll, likely to be around 25 gold bars. That puts us up to 70 gold bars there. So if you want the bare minimum to start this update, I'd recommend at least 70 gold bars. Cash is definitely a lot easier to come by in Red Dead Online, but I would recommend you guys save up at least two to 3,000. Now if you want to be more comfortable and buy a lot of this content on release, you want to try out a lot of the new Trapper outfits, I would recommend at least 100 gold bars and you know, saving up at least four to 5,000 cash is gonna be a nice starting point and you guys should be able to buy yourself what you need. Now if you guys are watching this video and you're getting a little bit worried because the update's coming out in a few days and you don't have enough cash to get started, what I'd recommend you do is check out the Red Dead Redemption 2 collector's map, spend half a day collecting as much of the map as you can and you're going to get potentially around $5,000 per day just by collecting these items and selling them. It does require you to start the collector role, however there is a chance this new role might even actually require you to have started the collector role if it is indeed a tier 2 role. And then of course there is a very good possibility that this map actually will be nerfed either with this update or with a following update later on in the year. So guys, seriously, make as much money from this map as you can while it still works. If you guys watched this video all the way to the end, please take a few seconds to leave the video a like, it really helps support my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out on any future breaking Red Dead news and updates. I'll also have lots of tips and tricks for you guys when this update has been released. So thanks for watching guys, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video.